Living with Alzheimer's or having a loved one with the disease can be very difficult. Medical teams are hopeful that a new study could not only help detect Alzheimer's, but also be a step on the way to prevention. The fight against Alzheimer's can be scary. There's absolutely nothing on the market that will in any way change your risk of getting Alzheimer's. There's nothing you can do. If you're at risk for getting it, you're going to get it if you live long enough. To combat the disease, one must first know what it is. We know Alzheimer's is caused by a buildup of a toxin in the brain. Investigators like Dr. John Stachides have made a passive vaccine that might help. Make the antibodies against the, the toxin in the lab and give them to people in a small amount, in a controlled amount so that we could take the toxin out of their brain slowly, steadily, and safely. Rhode Island Mood and Memory Research Institute is conducting trials. We're looking for people over the age of 50 who have noticed some subtle changes in their memory that seems odder than ordinary to either them or their family. This study may ease your fears. Most of the time, nine out of 10 times, it's nothing. Um, but one out of 10 times, that's a person who's going to get Alzheimer's. The people who fit into the risk profile may go on to get the vaccine. The others will be reassured that it's probably nothing and uh, it's just life day-to-day -day stress that's causing their memory problems, which happens more times than not. The initial screening is absolutely free, and those who make it into the study have an extra incentive. Actually, we pay for their travel expenses, so um, there's a small reimbursement for people to be part of the study to you know, um, that we give them. Um, and time commitments, uh, a few hours a month. Um, so it's not a lot. Um, the hardest step is sometimes just walking in the door. Because they're afraid, they're in denial, whatever. And once we get them to walk through the door, they realize that, you know, this is the thing they want to do, especially those that are at risk. Everyone at Rhode Island Mood and Memory Research Institute want to offer the people at risk hope. Hope that they may be able to do something to prevent it or more importantly, help us find a way to, to keep people from getting it. They are offering the new study trials and are always looking for volunteers, so check back very often. We're going to be posting information on this particular study on our website, WPRI.com.